Um, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, so today, um, I'm gonna start with my personal best, which is uh, I I just mm -hmm. understood how to custom the strapi installation as um, it says only with quick start mm -hmm. example uh, let me just search and oops maybe I have to go to documentation mm -hmm. No, here. Yeah. I mean, your hand. So, um, yeah, uh, may I continue? Okay. I'm sorry. Um, so, I mean, I thought that it has to end with dash dash quick start, mm. but it gives uh, me SQLite, if I'm not mistaken, SQLite mm -hmm. as the database client, not Mongo. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I just type the yarn creates repi app uh, id dash card dash repository to initialize the strapi app. Mm -hmm. Oops. And yeah, uh, that's how to custom. And then, yeah, I, I, I read the documentation of strapping with a uh, mongodb which mm -hmm. needs uh, some configuration such as enable ssl and plus srv connections and etc uh, even though i still would like to ask you um maybe a bit later okay and then have you put it on uh, issues if you have questions oh i have not put it yet you should you issues. should put the questions on issues so that you do not forget and then you can discuss it later I okay change this to... maybe i will add this okay Uh, so uh, I have three issues. Well, maybe I, I should present it later, but yeah, mm -hmm. for the MongoDB schema, mm -hmm. uh, I created the schema in just uh, txt. Okay. So um, maybe I should see Katepe image. Here. Just for example. Okay. Okay. Um, so first, I uh, name the Anika to integer but i was a bit confused that uh, should i uh, give integer to okay. this because i mean uh, the range maybe it it has uh, surpassed the integer range yeah um but we can discuss that later yeah we can discuss that later because this oh, is just okay. like you so it's just a uh, personal best and business best so questions like that, actually, you should put that on issues list. Okay, sir. So you can put like on the issues list is any K should be in the girl or something. So that's okay. That's how so the issues I will add, list is. Uh, some issues, uh, maybe later, but just to uh, um, 
proofreading or just to see rapidly. So this is the schema I have created. And just to explain uh, briefly that I have uh, three pictures here. Okay. Maybe I will put these two issues as well. And I have seen that, for example, uh, this is just for example. So uh, it has Provinsi Sulawesi Barat, Kabupaten Mamuju uh, on the top of the card. So I have added the issued province, issued city, mm -hmm. and okay. for the issued date. Um, so for example, uh, this card, this KTP has uh, issued date here. Mm -hmm. So I add the issued date. This is the schema. And okay. I think there will be, uh, you should uh, report on your progress on the to-do list part. Okay, we are still on SEGU. Okay. So uh, what, what else is your uh, business best or personal best? Um, so, um, so for personal best, um, is it not deeply related to this internship, but should I write that or? Yeah, you should, you should write the summary and then say it. Uh, okay then. So it's not uh, deep, deeply related to uh, this internship, but recently I uh, learned about Unity 3D, oops, uh, which is a game engine to create a, a, a virtual reality application. I mean, okay. it, it is more, uh, more like a simulation than a game. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is uh, what I have, uh, I have done, I've been doing recently. Mm -hmm. I think uh, these two highlights my personal best. Okay. And then for the business best, um, I'm sorry, may I ask about uh, how should, what should I wear it in this uh, row? I'm sorry. Okay, so it's uh, usually the things that you do uh, that is uh, specifically on, on this uh, on this project, okay, or that has something to do with the user of the of the project. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I should uh, write. Uh, oh. Maybe I should uh, write this. Okay. I mean, uh, I was a bit aware of the private data uh, contained in KTP or ID card mm -hmm. because um, it it has like signature, mm -hmm. of course, name and mm -hmm. uh, any card which is uh, used often to, mm -hmm. for example, just to register, mm -hmm. register a person to, for example, a web seminar. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, uh, I, I discovered uh, lately that, um, that an institute, uh, um, to be, to be clear, a university mm -hmm. that, uh, that will conduct a web seminar or webinar require, mm -hmm. requires the participants to input their ANICA uh, telephone number to register. I mean, yeah, uh, I think they have no need to that. I, I don't really know. I don't really understand why 
they uh, they put the field to Google form to register but yeah, yeah I personally personally I don't I don't input the proper proper I uh, any car or ID number okay. and a phone number as well I think that's my business best okay all right okay uh, uh, anything else on the business best I think before we move on to the next we should uh, conclude the business best and personal best part I think um, this is enough okay so uh, please uh, edit the time on thank you all right so I will uh, take some time to welcome the other meeting attendees Assalamualaikum, Firhan and Dedi. Okay, so I'm sorry for the late uh, greeting. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, okay, so let's take time to introduce uh, each one of you before, uh, because uh, you have not met each other except me. So this is actually Kevin's meeting. And Kevin is working on the database and repository with API, uh, hopefully GraphQL API for the ID card verification system. Okay. And he is uh, currently a student at UNPAD, yeah? Uh, yes. Ya, Unpa Jati Nangor ya. Hello okay. everyone. Hello Kevin. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and yeah, and that's it. And I think Kevin has been interning for about three months. Yeah. About three months. Yeah, I think so. And uh, Firhan is also an intern. And hi, Firhan. <laughs> hi. And, hi, everyone. Hi, yeah. Firhan. Hi. And he is uh, currently, uh, I think, final year student. Yeah. Yep. Final year student at Telkom University. Okay. And Firhan is working on the ID card extraction algorithm. Okay. So hopefully uh, he will demo how he extracts the structure of ID card from image to JSON. Okay. Uh, and yeah. Uh, and Teddy. Hello. Yeah, hello Daddy. <laughs> yeah, I think you your name was not Daddy. I think your name was uh Dedu. <laughs> Daddy Do. <laughs> Daddy Do. Okay. So Daddy Do is um it's also an intern. Intern and yes. actually currently um working on the photo compliance uh, system part but uh, let's uh, just um, join this meeting and hopefully uh, Daddy can give some feedback or maybe uh, give some insights uh, with us but okay Daddy Thank is you, a, Daddy. yeah Daddy do is a, a senior engineer at a very large uh, international <laughs> company uh, <laughs> that I will not name. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. Should you introduce yourself? Okay. So starting from uh, Daddy. Okay. Uh, do you want to tell us something about you or ask uh, Kevin or Firhan? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Hello, Andy, Kevin, and Virhan. It's first time to meet you all, guys. Um, 
Actually, I just joined Intern maybe around one month ago. I just working on project about photo compliance. And I think uh, ID verification based on the image, it will be heavily used in industry. I just saw that uh, kind of application related with the FinTech will be used. You know that uh, last time I just searched on the Rapid API, there are a lot of kind of that service. Maybe if you just search on the Rapid API, you, your, serv your similar service will be available on there. So we can just keep it uh, works for now. And actually I just working on photo compliance because I just have queries with Camunda system. So I will learn because Camunda it is like uh, tools for orchestrating our microservice. And I think uh, my job will be used on the Camunda even that I know Currently, I just working on the WSO2, but I will uh, do my best for the photo compliance. So it really just uh, it take it for photo, and then and verify that is that person is correct or not. That's my project. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Eddie. Any questions for? Firahan or Kevin? Oh, sorry. Okay, if you have any question, oh. please. Okay, you can ask me. <laughs> okay then. Uh, so Firhan, uh, tell us something about you and if you want to ask uh, questions to Kevin or Teddy. Um, okay, I will tell about my project too. I'm working for Kaspi OCR. OCR is optimal character recognition. So it's just like, it's just simple. You just upload the KTP and it would be extract the KTP to character. The, and then extract the name and then the number and all of the, the character on that KTP. Okay. Just <laughs> uh, and then, Yes, that's it. Anyway. Oh, and then uh, take the coordinate on of the photo and take the photo to base sixty four. I think that's all. Is there any uh, Kirhan. Kirhan. Okay. So your final project is still uh, related with this intern. Your final e project. E yep. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Good. What, Thank what's you. your final project title? Uh, pro. Wait, 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 wait. You can share a screen. Uh, please share a screen so that oh. um, Kevin and Daddy has a more concrete idea of what you are doing. Okay. Wait. Uh, you can open one of your project and let us know. Okay, it's already on my screen, right? Yep. So my job is, as you can see, it was a different application. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'll show you the, the simple one because yeah. there is some error okay. for my last Mm -hmm. project that I've been updated. So, so the simple one. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna install from the server because I use Google Google Colab. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, I should uh install the server the server the pipe the server first. And then import some some library mm -hmm. and then read the image. From my, I, I uploaded the image from my to my drive, mm -hmm. and then show the image first. Okay, the image will look, it will be like this. Uh, there's not the case. Now, mm -hmm. name, 
empat tanggal lahir and year of so just oh i should i uh, uh, explain the the code to no, sir just just uh, do just, the just output the demo. okay just skip uh, okay. to the output and okay, and then what sense it to gray start mm. but it's easier to read the photo and the threshold two, and then you take that the text. Okay, and then normalize the 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 result that we have in here. Yep, as you can see, there is a property there, similar in Jakarta, and then in NEK three four seven one one. And then name Rianto dot and the rest. But there is some er, some uh, maybe you can call it error, like uh, this one status. status. It should be status perkawinan, but it's status bin hmm. dot dot kawin, and then sleman to this right. It should it should it shouldn't write to this one too. But it still go on, and then it widened status bin kawin sleman, and then sleman to it's widened down to, and then the 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 date the date the KTP has been made, it's widened down to. I think that's a little bit okay. about that. Okay. Thank okay. You. Have you managed to uh, make a JSON structure from that? Uh, it's already, but. And there's some error that I mean. okay okay but that's the that's the goal yeah and uh, yeah you can have the json structure and then the json structure uh hopefully will be like similar or the same with the json structure in the uh strapi database or repository that kevin is working oh. on so then oh, the output okay. yeah so that's the output of uh firhan's work will be mm. able to be inserted to the id card repository that uh, kevin is working on and so this is uh with the purpose that i am bringing you all together here and daddy is the kamunda expert so uh, we hope that we will get some insights on how the inter integration will work okay from the user interface and to here okay so uh my question before is uh do you um, what's your final project title oh you ask me sir yeah uh Firhan. uh id verification ID verification, your yeah. project title. Yeah. Oh, really? Your, I mean, uh, your final project in uh, university. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, my final project in Takam University is. Hmm. Oh, that's what it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. Sorry, I saw you my YouTube channel. Uh, ini, this one is classification emo emotion uh, me media social Twitter dengan metode convolutional neural network. That's okay. my. So that's uh, using NL NLP, natural language processing. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay, so do you want to ask a question to Kevin and Daddy, or anyone want to ask? Um, who's using Strapi? I, Kevin? I'm using Strapi. Okay, Kevin, I have a question because last time I just read about the Strapi. Right now, I just experiment using WSO2. Is it like Strapi is lightweight version of WSO2? I mean, that 
uh, because you have uh, intent to publish your API, so why? So that's why you use uh, Strapi. Uh, so, I mean, I, I think I think uh, try to Kevin try to demo your Strapi. You can run it and just uh, you know like explain what what Strapi is. You, you can. Uh, share your screen, Kevin. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, Firhan also, I think Firhan has never used Strapi before, right? Yep. So, yeah. So let's get a quick intro yeah, to Strapi. Okay. So, thank you. And how you use it in your project. Uh, I just to stop the share screen, sir. Okay. Okay. So. So uh, the strapi itself is, I think uh, you have heard this word JMS, or yeah. it stands for content management system. So uh, it helps the back end and especially it is, uh, I mean, loved by front end developers because uh, they, they do not have to build the API and with Strapi, the developers can design API fast and yeah, they, they can manage the content easily. So it's about the uh, back end JavaScript based uh, content management system. So uh, I think I will access this. And here we are, the admin dashboard. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, so uh, the content, I mean, not this one. The content that I have created in backend, it is called collection types and named ID card repository, which has 13 fields, namely any card, name, uh, tempat lahir or birthplace, tanggal lahir, jenis kelamin, uh, golongan darah, and etc. Uh, fields which are included in KTP. But, um, and this is uh, based on the schema. Okay in MongoDB. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention that so uh, Strapi, the, the database management system in Strapi can be MongoDB, SQLite, PostgreSQL, and other database client or database management system. But in this uh, project, the final project in this internship, I'm using MongoDB as database management system. And here is the schema of uh, MongoDB. Yeah. Uh, try so, to uh, edit uh, some data. Try to edit some data. Like okay, add, uh, insert a row or something. Okay. Um, Just so, uh, example, or you can try to edit. For example, hmm. in this repository I will add like oh wait oh. yeah 
think you can input any random something. I will just input randomly. Yeah. Address. Is it all required or some fields are optional? Uh, uh, all fields are, are required required mm -hmm. as in KTP. Uh, these fields are all uh, mm. stated. Mm, okay. Uh, all right. But later on, we will change the schema because uh, the process is that uh, this data may be filled by machine learning. And sometimes there are cases where machine learning cannot fill all of the data. And that means we need to be able to store incomplete information. And uh, when the, the information incomplete, then we will need help for actual human being to review the data and then uh, complete information. So actually, uh, I would say that all fields can be empty. So all fields should be optional. All right. Okay. So this is good. Okay. Uh, have you enabled the uh, API in this? Oh, GraphQL? Uh, yeah, GraphQL or, uh, yeah, try GraphQL just to, display the uh, data that you have just input. Um. Yeah, the, the plural one. Oh, I'm sorry. Repository is for getting just one document. You see, the plural one gives you a, a list of the things there. Oops. Hmm. Why only a few fields? Yeah. Why not all of the few fields? fields? That's weird. Oh, you you. Put n. Actually, the uh, the fields are complete, right? Uh, should I show complete fields? Mm, well, uh, let's put like five or six, just to show that uh, all the data is there. Just okay. auto auto complete some fields from there. example uh, you, you can also press control space all right so that you get the list of everything so you can press uh, go to a blank line and then press control space and then you will get everything yeah but yeah just just uh, some some fields doesn't have to be all okay oops I have hmm. not set for public. Yeah. So I have uh, to change the permission to. Okay. And then save it. I don't think that you need to refresh that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's okay. But I think uh, yeah. you can just we got it. the uh, data. Yeah, I would say that's it. So did did he do? Does that answer your question? Um, just little, but I just curious that. Mm -hmm. So the strategy is just quick way that front end developer can create like simple mockup for their product. Or it can be used for monitoring. I mean, the, for publishing as 
maybe like uh, collecting or create marketplace? Oh, um, so as far as I know, yes. Um, in backend development, uh, we should create API yes. either uh, using REST, a web service such as REST or GraphQL or maybe SOAP. But yeah. I mean, uh, that the web service or API is not are not something that uh, front end developers usually create. Uh, mm. I mean, front end developers usually uh, um, make the view, and they have to, you know, uh, you know, connect to back end uh, using API. I mean, connect to database to fetch uh, data inside the database. So uh, just they just need to uh, use API to connect the database, but they don't. They do not have to create or uh, make API or web service uh, to connect to the database. So uh, the backend developer create the API and also uh, the database, including the configuration of database management system. So uh, the Strapi uh, by default, it use REST API, but uh, we, uh, we have uh, seen that it also can use a GraphQL API, another uh, web service by installing the plugin in Marketplace. Uh, so Strapi is to design or create the API and also uh, maybe the database as well. Uh, so in Strapi, there is no feature like kind of uh, Swagger or Sandbox tools? Um, sandbox? I, yes. I Actually, not, uh, really... Swa Swagger, there is, uh, there is uh, can you use uh, Google Swagger? Strapi. Uh, there is actually just a URL that you can access. Uh, may I know how to spell it? S W A G G E R. Springer Strapi. I think it's oh. the second second one. Oh, yeah. second one. Yeah, just second. Good. I think you can install it from the marketplace. Yeah, there will be. Yeah. Try to find it in the marketplace. I think it should be there. Okay. okay. And then, Although uh, my question. Mm -hmm. and then my question is like, is IP is ready for production or just in phase of development? Oh, so uh, when I was uh, encountering the problem in Strapi, I have read a blog maybe inside GitHub issues or some other random blogs that uh, says, my company uh, started to use Strapi recently. Uh, actually, he said several months ago and I think it is uh, ready for uh, production because it was created uh, in 2017, uh, if I'm not mistaken, at least in 2017, uh, it, it does, it, it exists. Okay. So. Uh, and then Kevin, if you publish your API, All right. Okay. Here is the swagger. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever seen swagger before? Uh, never. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, here's the the swagger API documentation. Okay. And generate that automatically. So this is and the documentation. So it can be 
embed to sandbox? I mean, that is there any like plugin for embed? I'm oh, sorry, I'm um, plugin for sandbox. You mean testing the uh, API? Yes, because you know that fintech for now, if you want yeah. to publish service, you have to like create sandbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that some you, you can open open uh, post some there? of them. Uh, try to get the get get one. The get no. card, yeah, that one. You can uh, I mean, it's like there is uh, like a sandbox tool inside the Stripe. Oh, you mean items. separate environment for sandbox and yes. section? Yes, correct. I would say that to do that, you install uh, two different uh, strapies. Oh, okay. So it's it's more about environments. Okay, I think it's enough. And then my question is like, when you just create that uh, ID repository, so your database right now is just using Stripe DB or you have to connecting your DB per API? I can't finish. Uh, pardon me, may I? Uh, you know that question? because you will use like repos uh, ID, ID verification repository. Mm -hmm. So if you just uh, enter the data in the Strapi, so the API will be published using the Strapi DB or your own DB. I mean that because may I just see that it is possible we can use Stripe, but we will using maybe 100 of service API. So in, in Stripe, it is possible to make like one API, one database, or everything is done in, inside the Stripe DB. Uh, So, I mean, in, in, in your context, in your case. Uh, it is stored in MongoDB and uh, MongoDB, which is configured within Strapi. Okay. Uh, so does that answer your question, did you do? Uh, I'm, I don't see that I, you, can, can you see me about where is the MongoDB setting in Stripe? Blank first, yeah. as stated in documentation, but maybe later I will change. And here the database client is Mongo. Okay. And before uh, creating for creating the project, I have to make sure that MongoDB uh, is running in the background. Uh, Kevin, so yes. um, your DB for your repository is different with the DB um, in Stripe, is correct? I think the DB is in Strapi and DB in repository is uh, stored inside uh, MongoDB. I mean, there there is only one database, but if I submit, if I post data here, like yeah. I have just done before, the Strapi will uh, send or store this data inside the MongoDB. Mm. Okay. Does that answer your question? Uh, uh, is it possible in Stripe that we can just use uh, external DB? But your publish your API inside the strategy. It's it is using external DB. The MongoDB is external, right? It can be in a different computer. 
Yes, I mean that uh, because it is like confusing, right? Uh, if we just using because uh, I want to use Strapi, the ad, the administration it will be separate with the API DB. For instance, like uh, one API, there is a one DB that maybe my squall or something. Mm -hmm. So is that in Strapi can cover that kind of use case? Now, what do you mean separate? Uh, API is separate with? For, for example, you have five API, right? Uh -huh. You right. have five API, and its API have a different different uh, DB. Oh, okay. External DB because okay. of the requirement. Hmm. So and you, now, uh -huh. and now you use a Strapi Strapi to manage uh -huh. the five API, right? So five I just databases, that, yeah. Yes, so is it is there any configuration in Strapi that we can manage? Mm. I mean, uh, that for yeah. connector or something? Yeah, so uh, in, in, there are two ways uh, to solve that problem. Either you can create five different Strapi projects, it's connecting to a different database, or you can configure multiple databases, five databases in one Strapi project. Oh, is it possible? Yeah. So if you notice, uh, please, Kevin, open the uh, configuration again. The MongoDB oh. configuration in Strapi. Here? Yeah. So if you, uh, if you notice, the connections there in line yes. three, yeah, line three and line four, is actually yes. connections and then default. So actually, you okay. can add more connections other than the default one. So there is one okay. default connection and any number of uh, non-default connections that can be used. Okay. Good point. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Cindy, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and uh, Kevin, can you open the link in the chat? Link, oh. Yeah. So they did do previously. Uh, no, not that chat. The Zoom chat. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, Strapi is not only open source, but it's also secured uh, funding recently. Mm. All right. You know that because uh, I think that WSO2 it 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 developed a uh, long time ago, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure that the community is growing. Okay, I think uh, uh, WSO2 has a lot of products inside. So which yes, one correct. are you talking about? API manager. API manager and API mm -hmm. analytic. Okay. But let me, I just experiment using API manager. Okay. I think uh, the difference is that uh, API manager is an API management platform. It's not used to create an API, but rather to serve an API. I think it's like a load balancer. Isn't that right? Um, API manager actually is a front uh, like a front proxy uh, that um, that we need to create APIs as the backend of that. Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's it like we just create uh, our own API, right? Mm -hmm. And then we just like hooking in the API in the WS, WSO2. And then mm -hmm. we can just track everything and configuring our API 
by using WSO2. And mm -hmm. in the WSO2, it enable marketplace. So it, it kind of like a similar like rapid API function. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that, that will be like API management. Uh, Strapi yes. is actually for implementing the API. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's, a, it's a different level. So it's for creating. Different orientation, right? Yeah, it's a for creating the API. And after you create an API in Strapi, you can then publish that into Rapid API or uh, in uh, WSO2. So WSO2 okay. is, is like Rapid API, but open source. Is it like that? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm, I see. Okay. Uh, may I ask something? Yes. Uh, is WSO2 uh, similar to or has same functionality such as Heroku? Heroku? No, I think that's different. No. I think that uh, WSO2 it is like more more applier because we, we don't have like any setting kind of uh, link or, 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 or URL, we can just stand out CMS for API. But the API, it will be created by, by, by ourselves. So it is like WSO2, there is no kind of, uh, what is kind of form API that, that you can test? No, there is no kind of like end stripe. So it's, I think it's different with Hero. Oh, thank you. Mm. Okay. So let's uh, continue to the next part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so please open the Notion again. Oh, oh Firhan, do you have? Screen? Yeah, Firhan, do you have questions? Uh, I think for now there's no question. Okay. So, well, I think it's nice oh. for me to. Wait, sir. Yeah. Maybe I will contact Kevin to make the same. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Next. All right. Oh, I forgot contact Kevin to make it same to my JSON too. Oh. Because okay. when I see it, there's some different variable yeah. like sex and the other thing. Yeah, and uh, that's what we are uh, trying to accomplish here by collaborating and uh, yeah, doing the same thing. Uh, I would expect that. Uh, group meetings are not very common, but at least, yeah, you, you need to get to know each other for the first time. Okay, and it's also nice to do some knowledge sharing. And so, Kevin, if you want to know more about APIs and so on, Teddy is the expert. And uh, if you want to know about machine learning, artificial intelligence, I would say Firhan is the expert there. Uh, TensorFlow as well, and NLP, so, okay. And Firhan, if you want to know about cybersecurity, Kevin, Kevin is the man for that. Whoa, <laughs> I'm still learning. Okay, so let's go to, okay, let's skip the other parts because uh, I want to do the group meeting first. This is already taking quite some time. Uh, let's go to the schema. Okay, so please show the schema. Do you write the schema in the text first or using Stripey first? Uh, in the txt file. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Um, uh, first is the NIK. Uh, the, the issue is here is the type, okay? So Firhan, what do you think the type for NIK should be? 
Uh, I think, I think when it use integer, it will find the. When if it use string, I think it will find the. Mm -hmm. But of string or integer, I think it will find because uh, it is an IP. Uh, maybe we can. Or, I think it should. Yeah. I think the is it's fine. It's fine. That first of all, how many digits? And actually, my intention is that this should not be restricted to KTP, especially not restricted to KTP in Indonesia. Okay. So, oh. So that's why there is uh, there is something like nationality. So. Yeah. Of course, for now, we don't have the algorithm to process like ID card from Singapore or Malaysia, mm -hmm. but we do have, we already have members from outside Indonesia. Okay. So, yeah, so we need to be able to input all of those information, even from other countries into this database. But at least the example here is from Indonesia. Okay, so yeah, so in that case, I would say that the NIK here should be string. Yeah, there is one obvious uh, reason why this uh, cannot be integer is when the user provides a passport. Because a passport is not only digits. Oh. Okay. Uh, why why would they input password in any card? Not not pass not password passport. Oh passport. I'm sorry. Yeah passport. Okay, but then I would say that the field would not be an IK but something like an identifier number or something what should that be yeah. maybe identifier just identifier maybe just identifier okay yeah. identifier is fine okay. for, for now because uh, that will be different from id right because id will be like mm -hmm. the number in the database okay and name i think that's also already correct replace date i think that's fine Okay, sex. Uh, Firhan, why, why do you not agree with sex? Uh, I think it should be gender. Mm, yeah, I agree with gender that. Gender than sex. No, I forgot the vocabulary. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, block type is fine. Mm, gender okay I would say in this case uh, for gender uh, we should use just the for short form because it's quite clear that gender should be like just uh, male and female just uh, make it M and F it saves a little bit of database because we don't really need to store the entire word okay that's nice Address, okay. Mm. I don't think that, uh, I would say for me, a address is enough to just like, uh, yeah, like, like write a long string for me, but maybe a city will be different. What do you think, Virhan? Should, should we be like, so detailed like that or it's just like string uh, i think that should be just address not describable like like that because like you tell us there's there's some uh people from the other indonesian i think mm. when we come to the outside of our country yeah. maybe there's no uh, rp or rw yeah. in there yeah. mm. 
Yeah, I would say in this case, because the, the purpose is for identity verification, I think uh, we don't really need to like have the RT, RW and so on. Just the address okay. will be enough. But I think uh, about city, yeah. I think the city is part of the uh, issued province and so on, right? So that's a different field. Religion is okay, religion is fine. They are okay married status all right okay so actually i have a, a document for the married status one okay let, let me share it with you so that uh, we have some okay we have some agreement on what the codes mean what Okay, marriage status. Let's see. Uh, actually, later, Kevin, you should uh, make a uh human readable document yeah on this so i would say that smvw all right Okay. So I've had some code before, so let's let's just use this one. Okay. Uh, please open the <clears throat> please open the chat in Zoom and put there and the descriptions. Oh, is it video? But you need to also put the description somewhere, yeah? Because you will have a documentation. And okay, because then uh, Firhan will be able to read what S, M, V, and W means, okay? So you need to okay. put that documentation. I would say, uh, let's open uh, about.lovia.life so at least that we have rough draft or on where you should put the documentation. And this will be a collaborative project on the schema because both of you should agree on the schema. Here. Yep. People, ops, legal, marketing, tech, leadership, leadership. Infrastructure, not infrastructure. Okay, let's, let's put it uh, inside engineering for now. Okay, so uh, I don't think it's, yeah. No, 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 not, not, I, not schema. Uh, it should be ID card verification. ID card verification. All right. Okay, and then click on that. Okay, so later on, please uh, complete this part. But mm -hmm. I will just you, show you an example of how to complete this. Okay, start writing MongoDB schema. MongoDB database schema, okay. And then please turn that into a uh, heading. I think there's a, yeah, the, the one on the, not, not that one, the left part, the left most button. Oh, not that one the, the button yeah on the left left go yeah. left yeah that one ah that one the, the left one you already hovered it before now nah, that one 
Okay, and oh, choose sorry. heading. Choose heading. Okay. Then the next part, and then below that, you describe the fields. I would say uh, you can insert a table there. Okay, click on the plus and then insert table. You can also search by typing table. Right. Just do some something. You can add more columns and rows later. Um. Uh, don't don't count it now. Just just make it. Uh, you will oh. complete it later. Just um, make a draft so that you know how to do it the first time. Okay, you can create a table, and then uh, go to the right sidebar and click header section. Header section. Okay. So now the header label you can put like field name, hmm. and then you can the right one you can. Type. Okay, if you put number, that's also okay. Number and then name and then type and then description. Yeah, I think you need to enter need another. To yeah, there is a, yeah, in the toolbar, you can, you can go to the toolbar and go to the toolbar on the left part. Oh, not that one. Ah, right, a little bit. No, 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 not that one. Uh, there is a button there. There is a button on the toolbar. Here? No, no, no. The toolbar. Okay, left one. Go left. Ah, that one. Edit table. Edit table. Yep. Oh. Add column. And you can put description in there. Okay. I think the second column shouldn't be variable, it should be field. Because it, it's oh, not a variable, field. it's a field. Okay. It's a field in the database. All right. So uh, just enter the field merit status in there so that we know what it is. Okay. You, you can. Uh, Okay, so type would be string. I would say it will be string or enum, yeah. String slash oh, enum because uh, in the database it's a string, but in reality, uh, yeah. And then you put all the uh, valid values and also the the meaning, okay, and also the meaning of each one. Uh, there's no D, it's oh. V. Okay. It's actually oh. divorced with a V. Okay. Nice. Do. Okay. Okay. Okay, and uh, you can complete the rest later. Okay, just uh, update this for now, so that uh, the documentation is not done. Okay, so I would want uh, Firhan and Kevin needs to be able uh, to agree on this schema. I would say to make it easy, just make it one level. Eh? Don't make another field inside the field. Just a okay. simple level. Okay, just flat level. Okay, I would say the address is all right. 
Okay, I now would want to say about nationality. Nationality should be, I would say that should be nationality code. Code. Yeah. Yes. Nationality code. And that's that's not an enum. It's actually a two-letter code. So, for example, for Indonesian, that will be ID. ID. So for example, Indonesian is ID. For Malaysia, that will be MY. For Singapore, this will be SG and so on. So for KTP, that's definitely, that's a uh, two letter, yeah. Nationality code is two letters. For expired date, I think um, just make it complete, okay. Expiry date, expiry date. Expiry date. Yeah. All right. Okay, and picture. Sure. I would say make these different fields, yeah, for uh, the pictures. Oh, and then I was struggled to do mm -hmm. to determine the uh, type. Oops. And that the type is file, right? In Stripey, the the type is file. Oh, okay, what when I mean, media. um, what I mean when when I mean uh, you create a schema is that you create a schema in Stripey, and then that's what you are documenting. Okay, oh, I see. So the most important is actually the logical schema, the field names and what they are. Uh, in Strapi, how the API will get that to the database is, is another matter. Because I would say that Firhan, we only need to know the API. That will be like the GraphQL API. Mm -hmm. I would say Firhan will not actually need to know the actual in uh, database uh, physical structure. Yeah? So actually, the schema is the GraphQL schema that, that we are talking about, but the API. Okay. But I think that we can make a schema documentation that is both the GraphQL schema and it's also a bit, a bit the MongoDB schema. Okay. And I would say this would not be like Profile picture, but um, uh, not not card picture, but card image, because that is the image. Okay. Person. Okay. And or should I type owner? Okay, so that will be. Um, But I think that will be like face photo. Okay, face photo is a face photo is okay. And with person, uh, I think that will be person with card photo. Okay, person with card photo. Quite weird thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we need this? I think we, yeah, I think, I think we need it. Because for example, uh, Indonesia has something like KITAS or something. KITAS is issued by Indonesia, but mm -hmm. the nationality of the person is actually maybe like US or something. So issued country and nationality code is different. I would say that will be issued country code to uh, make sure that we know that it's like a two letter country code. Okay, issue, issue date, issue date, okay. Okay, I think that issue country code should be issuer, issuer country code. Okay, but issue date I think is okay. 
Mm, okay, I think that's fine for me. Uh, Firhan, do you have uh, ideas in this? Mm. Ah, there is one that is uh, missing. I would say that should be kind. Okay, kind. Um, let's uh, make some enums about kind. Uh, okay. So just so that we don't forget, uh, please copy the descriptions to the documentation in about love your life. Uh, yeah, you you can go to the oh. first one, and then you can uh, click edit table and then add row above, because kind is above the merit status, right? Okay. Yeah, you can click add row above. No, no, you, you don't have to do that. Just click add row above. Add row before it. Yeah. Okay, then you can put the kind there. Just, just so that we don't forget what these codes are. Okay, that's nice. True. Okay, I think there will be string and num. String and num. Because, oh, uh, yeah, just to Optional. make it different between uh, free text and a uh, string with predefined values. Okay, um, please update it just to make sure that it will not be gone. Okay, Firhan, do you have any more suggestions? I think uh, we should complete it as soon as possible. Eh? Probably scroll, uh, go just scroll down the scheme. Um, okay. How about the coordinate photo, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, please, please put that. I think photo coordinates, I yeah. think that uh -huh. will be... Number. Does, does Stripey has a array field? But I think that will be... Does Stripey has an array field? Array of, uh, array of check. integer? Because if not, then it's okay to have like four, four fields for that, you know, like top left, width, and height. I think top left width height is is okay. Uh, array. Mm, I don't think there is yeah. Okay, so you need to put four, four fields for that. I would say the name would be like face, face top, face left, face width, and face height. All of them will be integer. Okay, face top, face left, face. Okay, top left, width, and height. Okay, so these will be coordinates uh, uh, by AI. I'm sorry, width. top left, width. width, width and height. Okay, these are all integers. Uh, is this correct, face left? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And I would say, I think we should put a status uh, of this ID card because it goes from like uh, pending status and then goes to like uploaded and incomplete and so on, right? So, okay. 
um, let's put a status field there and status would be like draft uh, user has not uploaded completely uh, is that a enum status is uh, yeah status is a string enum string or enum and then uh, and then waiting for verification. Need verification um, automatically verified by AE, manually verified by AE. Not yet approved. My staff should be code. Uh, wait, uh, I'll give you the list of things. Okay, but not approved. Why is this too long? Automatically, mm. so it's uploaded. Okay, I think there are four statuses. Please put these statuses uh, on the documentation. Okay, I think that will be quite clear. So, first the document will be in D status, so that is draft, user has not uploaded the images. And when user has uploaded images, will become you. And after it becomes you, and that means either AI or human being needs to uh, verify that card. Okay. And AI can make it directly verified, but um, it can also like only fill or extract the information, but not yet verified. Okay. So what do you think, Virhan? Any opinion, uh, suggestions? Uh, is, oh, how about the photo better? The photo? Uh, photo what? Photo photo base sixty four, uh, encoding, encoding the photo. Okay. Um. Should we do that to or just the photo JPEG or? Yeah, you mean the format? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. I think uh, the the file format is stored in Stripey already, right? When we have we when we make a file field, is that true? Yes. Yeah. So 
uh, because I think the type of these uh, photos are file, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's file or media? Oh, me media. Media, okay. I think uh, when we choose a media field, it, it already stored information about the type, okay. PNG. Yeah. So if we upload the PNG, it will be PNG. If we upload the PDF, it will be PDF and so on, right? Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, that will be on the. I think you should make. Um, so on this uh, yeah. content okay. type builder, I have set the media to images. So oh, there yeah. is no uh, PDF load. Okay, okay, okay. That's true. So any. Uh, image will be allowed. I think the only file types allowed will be a JPEG and PNG. PNG. And yeah. Uh, um, after but, that, then the AI extractor should output a JPEG. Yeah. To start the okay. extracted photo should be JPEG. But the input from user, we can accept PNG or JPEG because yeah, some people take a photo with PNG some mm -hmm. of them do, so we should accept them anyway. Okay. Mm. Oh, I know. Uh, there should be, mm, okay, creation time and mod updated ad is already in Stripey, right? But the one is not there is uh, uploaded ad and ex extracted at and verified at I think these are um, yeah updated yeah because these are already built in please uh, open the chat in zoom I added three fields please uh, put that on your notes these are will be uh, date yeah Oh, there should be another status, yeah. I would say the another status is uh, rejected, yeah. Oh. Yeah. More status is R for rejected. Yeah. Actually, this is the importance that we have a business process diagram in Kamunda because it makes it clear uh, mm -hmm this document goes from what status to what status okay uh do we this... need uploaded app because it has already created it built in strapi mm, i would say not not always i think it's possible that the document is created empty without any file uploaded yet okay oh no string Mastering, yeah, date should be date. Your state. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so later, please uh, move all of this schema into this document. Okay, Kevin? Okay. Yeah, so that will be easier to uh, understand, and Firhan can also check. Okay, Firhan, do you uh, have any more suggestions? I think that's all. That's good. Okay. But may I ask about this? Okay. For example, like country code, uh, should this be enum or? I, no, no, no. It should not be enum. I, I would say it should be string because uh, countries can change, yeah? <laughs> countries can change. Mm -hmm. Gender is enum, but countries can change. You know, a uh, few years ago, there is no Timor Timor, yeah? Timor Leste was not there, and then Timor Leste was created. So it's not an enum. Okay. Yeah, and I hope that Papua will not become its own country, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, I think, I think that's pretty good for now. 
So anything else that we want to discuss? I think you had a question before, but I think we are running out of time. So uh, if you want to ask more questions, Kevin, uh, you can ask me on uh, chat later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, may I ask just a quick question? Okay. So uh, we are making this schema with a data type of uh, Strapi, right? Uh, as you said before. Yeah, not that's true. MongoDB, but no, the not MongoDB. Is... Oh, yeah, okay. uh, I, I know that the, you, you are using Strapi, uh, mm -hmm. and then Strapi will save it in MongoDB. But the point here is that we use uh, Strapi to design the database, and whatever mm -hmm. structure that Strapi uses to store in MongoDB, that's what we are going to use. Okay. Because oh. when uh, Firhan's program interact with this repository, Firhan mm -hmm. will use the API. Okay, Firhan will not access the MongoDB database directly. The only way to access this database is by using the GraphQL API. Okay. Okay, so this is why the main, the primary schema is actually the Strapi schema, not not the MongoDB schema. Okay, so uh, we, so we just follow whatever Strapi uses in uh, MongoDB. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, uh, for example, if in MongoDB it is the type type of integer is uh, stated as int, and then, but in Strapi I. I can choose integer, so mm. will the Strapi will automatically, uh, I mean, format the data type when storing to MongoDB? I, I think so. So uh, I think you, you should try this uh, in Strapi, and then you can use like MongoDB Compass, right? To inspect right. the actual database in MongoDB, and then you can report that in the documentation. So you can like, mm. that. that's why, I put the data type uh, is in Stripe. The data type is enum, right? But in right. reality, it should be a string. Uh, I hope so. I hope it's it's string. I hope it's not some uh, strange data type or something. So that's why in the type column you have mm -hmm. the Stripe type and the actual type in MongoDB. And for example, media, media is not one field in, in uh, MongoDB. That will be, I think mm. it's, a, it's a different, they store the actual media in a different collection. A bit complicated. Yeah, yeah. The, the uh, media is uh, complicated in, uh, and of course interacting with the media API also is also more complicated, right? <laughs> when you upload it and so on, it's more complicated. So. But in terms of uh, uh, Strapi schema itself, well, it's it's just one field. It's just media. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Any more question? But I think this is this is pretty good. Yeah. So uh, human stuff can mm -hmm. use Strapi to open the database and manage the content. And then it can set uh, and verify the ID card. And if Firhan can deploy the algorithm to help the human, and that means the human will not need to input nama and blah, 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 type a lot of things. Uh, mm. Human can just, okay, this is correct. And then he just uh, switches the status to verified. And then save. So it's uh, that's what I expect. The uh, Firhan's algorithm will make it very quick for human stuff to work. So thank, thank you me. very much, Firhan. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Firhan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and also thank you, Kevin, too, for uh, making this uh, repository. Okay, it's already azan. Do you, we conclude the meeting? Uh, should I say to conclude or I should write here? 
uh, yeah, please conclude the meeting and uh, and rate. Also, Firhan needs to rate the meeting. Yeah. Here. Yep. yep. For me, yeah, this is not bad. I would say seven. Okay, for me, it will be eight. Eight. And for me also, it is eight. Okay. Please. For, so, to conclude, so it is, uh, you know, we have to agree about the schema and it's for first time for me and I think I realized it how important it is to you know integrate maybe I can say field name and the data type because uh, I often miss maybe for example a uh, the fields that AI engineer need so uh, yeah I got very nice insight from this meeting thank you very much for everyone So I will stop sharing. Okay, don't forget the closing greeting. <laughs> oh. uh, so nice to meet uh, everyone. And it is uh, very, it was very enjoyable. And assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Nice to meet you too, Kevin.